Well, we were talking about brand cars, but the two that didn't come up were Kia and Hyundai, which are Korean brands, and they had a little bit unfortunate mishap happen very recently. Uh, apparently, the area where you can insert a key or something similar to start the car resembled the shape of a USB port. Um, and so some kid somewhere, or someone somewhere, had the smart idea of trying to insert a USB drive into that key slot. And they found that when you do that, uh, kind of jiggle around a bit and turn it, the car starts. And <laughs> suddenly, Kia and Hyundai cars around the world are able to be stolen with just a USB stick, not like hacking on the USB stick, not any sort of viruses into the computer, just sticking it into the hole and turning. So unfortunately, this got a little viral on the internet. People started trying this. Even more unfortunately, there were people who were injured or even killed during this. Um, Kia and Hyundai have, of course, tried to recall as much as possible, tried to install new security systems on cars, newer models especially, and then tried to update security on their older cars. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, as of this article, it is still an ongoing issue um, with some people still not able to get their cars fully secured. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so basically, um, it's been a big hoopla and everything, and it's... Um, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it when I read this it, article. I was like, wow, I could literally steal a car with a USB drive. It's just, it's, uh, yeah. And uh, How did of they course, not think about that? The children were reckless for trying to, uh, but the, the, the engineers, I, I don't understand how that kind of passed, passed how did they by. they not notice? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the same as a USB drive. Yeah. <laughs> There's like no hot wiring, no nothing. You just, you just have a USB, which everyone can buy for mm -hmm. 10 bucks or less. And of course, you know, I'm sure if I had a Kia or my friend had one or someone I know, I'd, as soon as you read this, you want to yeah. give it a shot, don't you? Yeah. You want to see, is that true? You want to yeah. go with the USB drive and yeah. try it. Obviously, I hope you won't go and steal someone else's car, but yeah. um, you try know, it. it's tempting to On see. On your car. <laughs> really? Does that work? Uh, um, oh, also another solution, um, either Kia, Hyundai or both, I can't remember, said was, uh, get one of those uh, wheel locks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was like, well, I mean, I guess that's fine, but very annoying for the driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Not perfect solutions, but mm -hmm. it's not a perfect car. That is kind of crazy. Yeah. And of course, the internet gets involved. You know, if this had happened 30, mm -hmm. 40 years ago, maybe it would take ages before word spread about this sort of hack. Mm -hmm. um, but it just went viral on TikTok. And then yeah. suddenly in seconds, the entire world knows how to do this. <laughs> It's like, oh, really? My friend has a Kia. It became a TikTok mm -hmm. challenge, in fact. Have you ever tried a TikTok challenge, John? No. A uh, couple of reasons. Number one, they usually involve dancing or something embarrassing <gasps> or illegal in this case. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to be seen dancing. Uh, I don't want to do something embarrassing like, you know, run around screaming in a park or whatever a challenge is. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do anything illegal. Uh, so I've never been on a TikTok challenge before. I do know there's a cinnamon challenge. Oh, yeah, eating was, yeah. a teaspoon of cinnamon. It wasn't TikTok, but it might as well have been at the time. Mm. And I did give that a shot. Um, and it was, you know, it was, it's what you see on the videos. You, you eat it and you cough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ice bucket challenge. Oh, I heard I, about that. I, less. I, I was a late... <laughs> I was a late comer to this. I only found out about it like afterwards. Last year. Yeah, but fairly recently. But when I heard the story, I thought it was for a good cause. Correct. correct. And it was only a bucket of ice, you know. Yeah. It's not yeah. stealing a car. It's totally not stealing different a level. Car. Yeah. People are like, oh, it's so dangerous. No, stealing cars is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Cinnamon Challenge was a bit dangerous too, but. Was it, was the Tide Pods at one oh, of those God. TikTok challenges, or was that just something That's people just were doing something, on TikTok? Something. And it was that was pretty. Dangerous. I don't want to call it a challenge, but it was on TikTok, but other social media as well. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, the other one was uh, on TikTok was devious licks, What's that? and all of that. The only thing that means is to destroy a property from wherever you are, usually school, or to steal it from the school and bring it home. <laughs> Why are so many of them involving crime? Like, no. Well, I, I think there's a lot of stress going around and in, in 
let's just be honest, doing crime is both thrilling mm -hmm. and at the same time very dangerous. And that level of adventure, mm -hmm. but also danger, I think really appeals to someone who has a lot of stress and wants a way to get rid of it. But surely if you post it on the internet, then yeah. you're going to get arrested even quicker. Or maybe they don't mind being arrested. I and they're children, so they probably get off pretty easy. So some people are saying maybe TikTok should be taking responsibility. Uh, Do you think yeah. they should be held responsible for this Kia stealing challenge? Not at all mm -hmm. uh, in this case. Um, I think there are things that TikTok, YouTube, et cetera, could be taking, uh, taken responsibility for. But this one is not. It is completely Kia and Hyundai's fault for creating a vehicle where you could have... It. The information can spread on the internet. This is the reason we have the internet. There are pros and cons to that. If we start making companies uh, responsible for the information spread, then what we're going to have is an information block. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to go into censorship and that's going into government control, or I should just say control in general of the internet. And really, the reason we have the internet is for this free spread of information. Mm -hmm. um, and it's given us so much good in the world and we have to kind of take the bad with it because uh, not everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, TikTok is not responsible, but um, they were pretty proactive in trying to take it down anyway. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. And one reminder, don't try this at home. Oh, don't try anything we say at home. Neither of us are experts in anything, even English sometimes. <laughs> I, we have our Just moments. Joking. <laughs> and uh, anyways, don't think about what we say. Don't try what we say. Just listen to us and study the vocabulary that we talk about, maybe even mention during our little speeches. Mm -hmm. um, and we will see you in the next article. Bye. Remedy. Remedy. Joyride. Joyride. Rudimentary. Rudimentary. Reckless. Reckless. Jerk. Jerk.